this is important, be attracted to me. ILM stock stuffing technique for large macular holes, PFC assisted. These are color, FA picks, and the preoperative OCTs from the patient. Different B scans show a full thickness macular hole, a large one. It measures 640 microns. The first OCT was performed in mid June 2022, and another one repeated February 23. The patient was really reluctant to have surgery all this time. Unfortunately, the surgery was scheduled for May 2023. A 23 gauge parsplenic vitrectomy was carried out. A large macular hole could be visualized. The ILM internal limiting membrane was well stained with a brilliant blue. After a complete air fluid exchange was performed, the internal limiting membrane was taken with a 25 gauge ILM forceps. It was very taut and its serrated tips were able to lift it up. The membrane uh, were not without some localized bleeding, but at safe distance from the foveal area. The bleeding was carried out in a clockwise direction and part of the ILM was stuffed into the hole. Interestingly, in an attempt to extend the peeling, even though slowly enough, the plugged in material came out with the ILM on and around the top of the hole when it was removed. That could probably be traumatic with trying to put it back into the hole with the same technique. So another approach had to be thought of. So PFC before a carbon liquid, which is a heavy and has a highly surface tension was poured on the macular area in an attempt to hold the eye lamp firm around the foveal area, creating a good and more focused visualization and stable surface, making it a lot easier to grab on the ILM tissue with more controlled movements and creating a force downstream towards the hole, the target for inserting the ILM once again. Another good point to consider as to stabilize the membrane down was to leave a stock directly attached to the membrane stuffed inside the hole, in this way creating another force aimed at avoiding inadvertent escape of the membrane off the hole. In AFX, air fluid exchange was the next step of the procedure and all PFC was removed very slowly. So by comparing the last preoperative OCT with the current one, three weeks after the procedure it could be noticed that the hole closed completely. The IZ EZ zones were pretty normal looking, with a good shape and width of the foveal area mainly. Best corrected visual acuity was 2050, getting better. I appreciate your attention.